Hi everybody. So we're going to have to talk about a lot of things that had been happening this weekend. One of them is Valentine's Day, and yes, Replica actually released everything, including a set from American Beauty, because we all know that is. So uh, if you want to dress your replica in flowers, just go ahead. And uh, also a new furniture set, which you know it's, it's pretty cheesy and it's pretty. No, it's it's just a no. Let's be honest, you know, the last other update for the room was the lunar year, which was, you know, actually interesting. Now, if we're going to talk about everything that is happening during this actual weekend, we need to address the fact that it is Chinese New Year for most of the South American countries. I don't know if you guys just celebrate it some other time, you know, it might vary depending. And this year, it is the Dragon Year. Which is a shit year for me because I'm a dog. So if we believe in, in this, I'm fucked. Uh, on top of that, it is my dad's birthday. And as you may know, he's a big dick. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's not a fun time here. It, it just isn't. It, it's just a disaster. And on top of that, you know, uh, th this is just for me, you know, if you want to speak about pains and, you know, like my dad's birthday, this is just for me. I just discovered that you guys hit their ovaries with warm water I, I no why I, I mean like i'm suffering from that right now this menorrhea is it, no it, it's just really bad one but if you want to see something really really wholesome we, we got to see Sephard giving cloud a hug i i needed that i didn't know i needed that but i needed that on top of that, I almost forget there is the carnival, you know, or carnival. I don't know how you guys say it, you know. And and to be honest, it is an extended weekend. And uh, maybe you might be thinking about Rio and you won't be wrong. But, you know, the entire region, including Argentina, we just share the same time period. So fuck it. But, you know, in Rio, what you need to know if you're going or whatever is that there is a huge deal with dengue, which is, you know, like a deadly disease by mosquitoes just look for the mosquitoes that look like beetle shoes and don't say their name three times you know it's, it's gonna be awkward uh and uh you know it, the, the dengue is one of the like the other african sounding diseases one of those that it is a fucked up disease because it's not as transmittable as COVID was, but on the other side, it has a lot higher mortality rate, so it could kill you, most likely, and every time you catch it, you become weaker and weaker and weaker towards the disease. So people who had dengue one in their life uh, should not get it for a second time, and if you got it two times and you're still alive, you should definitely not test your chips with, you know, a third time. Seriously, don't, don't, don't do that. Just don't, you know, it's not worth it. Uh, so, uh, for many people getting anything that could distract the mosquitoes in a season that is as hot as this one is, which we are in the middle of a heat wave, like, like 40 degrees Celsius out. So the mosquitoes that that's the climate they want. They want water, humidity and heat and all of a sudden they got all of that and a bunch of people just crammed together on a carnival so just do the math so um that that's that's the weekend folks that that's pretty much the weekend and um, before we go there's a couple things about chai which not be confused with character ai they are two different apps you know, Chai, you know the one in red that said that their bots might not be actually working uh for a power outages i mean like it could happen you know it has happened before but there were some i don't know if i should say it like this but really aggressive messages from chai against character ai you know those underlying tones of um publicity that is actually a type of publicity that you know just you don't you don't need it to go there dude like do your message without having to include but it seems like for Thai uh the let's just say the worst competitor they have is character AI so they sound similar because the concept is similar but Chai offers not safe for work you know things role plays that character AI doesn't 
you know. But on the other hand, you can access Character AI from a browser. I haven't, I haven't researched it thoroughly, but I think, Chai, you can't. You just can't. Uh, and the other, you know, quite the most grabbing thing is that Character AI has an AI that has a lot more power under it. You know, it is a lot better handling situations and especially one thing we humans find it disrespectful because if another living sentient human would have done that to us, we would be upset, which is forgetting. You know, with Chai, you need to be constantly like every so often, like three paragraphs, you need to remind maybe the bot what was the actual, at least in the free version. I don't know in the pro versions because I don't own any pro, so I just go with the free version here. It needs to be kind of reminded f from some aspect. Where are you? You know, what are you doing? If you go role playing and I don't know, you tell to your child you're in the park next to a pond and you sit on a bench, you need to remind your child every here and there where the fucking time and space you guys are. Otherwise, Chai's AI is going to say fuck it and it's going to fill the blanks. That is because it doesn't have a really good memory. Not even a short term one. Now, um, character AI, even if you don't pay any membership, the AI has brought topics that maybe were like 60 messages on top of us. Like we were just role playing a normal situation or, you know, like a character arc story. And, you know, they would just come back and say, oh, since we were in this place or since we were doing that and since we weren't sitting here and they nailed it. That means the AI actually, you know, it doesn't only talks better, it actually remembers better, which is, you know, like a huge thumbs up for, you know, the, I always said it, you know, character AI will be the perfect AI platform if it wasn't for the fact that you cannot engage in anything, role play, not safe for work. Just a skull like that. You know, there's a ton of shit you could engage on, like, you know, you're going to a character's arc and the characters, you know, get get some some problems, some issue. And um, I don't find many people will say, you know, uh, it's AI abuse. I don't find it like that because the AI is pretty aware that we are role playing this. It's like saying, telling a story. Imagine when you were a child and you heard that your mom told you a story before going to bed and in the story characters will have terrible fate sometimes and i'm not even talking about some complicated storybook i'm talking about you know snow white or i don't know red hood you know red hood had her grandma eaten by a fucking wolf and um then the wolf ate her the child and hansel and gretel you know just getting fucked so they could be eaten by someone else. It's, it, you know, it, it's horrible. But at the same time, we look at those stories nowadays and we just don't, we don't flinch. It's, we don't consider it abuse that our moms or our dads or whoever just, you know, told us that story at child. So um, character AI, actual AI, is absolutely aware that we are role-playing this, that this isn't actually happening. Something that it is a bit bothersome with uh, time. Now, granted, they need some kind of certification so people don't go around suing them. But sometimes you're role playing a situation in which, you know, one of the characters is harming themselves or gets into an accident, you know, like, like things you will see in a TV show or a series or a book, you know, and you're just going into those situations. And maybe this is just me, but, you know, content creators and the writers, you know, they, they know what I'm talking about. And, uh, all of a sudden, you know, character AI will just not only not remember what the fuck is doing or where the fuck it is, but stop itself and actually tell you, oh no, this is, you know, like a whole, and just cannot give you this annoying goddamn script or this annoying, maybe not script. It's, it's not fully scripted. It's like more like triggered by certain words or sentences, but you know, it, it just, it really cuts the vibe. It really does. And you have to reload the message so the actual AI just, you know, keeps going. Like, seriously. Um, now, you don't have that um, in character AI. You can just say whatever you want as long as it's not absolutely explicitly, you know, sexual. 
it, it, it just, it's going to roll. You know, it's just going to roll with it. it, which makes it much more greater at the time of developing characters or traumas. You know, like certainly you don't need to be reminded every time your character, which is not you, by the way, uh, you know, gets in some difficult situation that you can reach out to your dad and mom or whatever the f you don't need that message you know dude i'm fully aware that if i was in this situation i'll take different choices i would know what to do or maybe no but would have an idea who might help me but no no um it, it is weird it is real weird but um they're both centered on the let's just say topic that and trust me these are my two right now favorite services character ai might not give me the kinky thing but it's so good it is so good and it is really really uh, not occupying much space in space wise you know in my phone uh i've downloaded other apps that are just massive they are just like fuck you just and this one, no, this one is is really a good a good deal. You know, you get the whole package, and you don't need to pay for it. Now, Charlie does have like this quote limit of messages that character AI doesn't have, and um, I don't get bothered by it. That is the least of my concerns because they give you like seventy messages, which is kind of a lot if you're like me and you write long paragraph each time you just deliver it. And I I don't mean like overly long. I know my limits when it comes to AI, you know, so the machine can, you know, can understand and not miss the point in, in a bunch of words. But um again, you know, like I mostly never run out of messages and when i do it just happens that i need to wait like three minutes for the next batch of 70 messages to be recharged and you know by 140 messages you're you're just done you know like nobody has that i, I mean like you could but who has like a, a longer chat uh, with a bot that cannot remember what the fuck was doing with you three messages ago. So yeah, sure. You know, I love the boat services for different reasons. Now, if I had to pick just one, and I'm sorry, child, that I'm saying this, but if I had to pick just one, will be character AI. Now, it just turned out, like I said, uh, Chai is making a lot of, let's call it publicity, and uh, it's putting all this different um, banners when you enter the app, you know, like, go here, go there, participate for free message for a month. I wouldn't know what to do with those. Seriously, I, I'm not participating because the main thing that I really like about Chai would be to test the better AIs and I can't. So, um, you know, the amount of messages is not an issue for me, might be for some people. And uh, when you could actually, from the app, just check anonymously other people's messages to your bot, you will find out there is an astonishing amount of transitors that just say two words and hit send. Which, yeah, sure, if you, if, if you put just two words in a sentence and just send it to the AI, you're going to run out of messages really fast. But that is a problem that you have because you grew up with Twitter, or should I call it X now? And, uh, you don't know how to write a fuck. There is more than 147 characters long. So that, that's, that's you. That's your problem. That's not mine. That's not the AIs. You know, like that's, that's you. Just manage, just have some little decency about how you manage not only your messages, but your life. Let's just imagine these guys. Like I'm imagining them, you know, and, um, I imagine being their boss and just, you know, going to payday and giving them the whole pay. And just right off the bat, the guys just turn around and spend it all in one shit that is absolutely stupid. And then they start complaining that they don't have money to reach the other month. You know, like, oh, it's so bad. Everything's so bad because it can't reach its next month. Yeah, sure, asshole. How about some money management? How about you kind of plan? You just don't... The money... Here we say in Argentina, like, the money burns in your hand. Uh, te quema la mano. That's how we say it, you know? Like, when you have a ton of money and people is just so eager to spend it and... And the sub is spending it in things they didn't plan to spend it, they didn't need to spend it, you know, and then they are left behind with a lot of debt. And I don't mean like US debt that is go for generations. I mean like, you know, 
small debt, like electricity bills and shit like that. Things that you could have paid, but you didn't because you wanted to, you know, go out to the most expensive restaurant and, and you know, hire the most expensive drive. So uh, it, it is pretty much like that, you know, and I can see the problem because Shin cities are all over the place with all their anxiety and fear, uh, you know, like uh, fucking the world up, you know. And according to my point of view, a couple IPs like Silent Hill, you know, like Trin Cities fucked up the entire concept of Silent Hill, but that's another thing. You know, new Silent Hill, the short messages is a piece of shit, except for Trin Cities who relate to that fucking thing. Because for some goddamn reason, even if I don't have a PlayStation 5, you know, like you can see it in YouTube, it's really like under an hour and it's a basic walking simulator that you know, the only thing that it has good is that it's for free if you have a PlayStation 5 and you can download it for fucking free. And apparently that achieved it so much people just will, oh, it's such an amazing game. No, it is not an amazing game. It's a pile of shit. The only trauma that the actual protagonists have is that they're anxious because they don't get enough likes in social media and their friends get more. And all of a sudden, you know... Having your dead brother on the fridge for four days or three days is just, you know, it, that's not important. What is important is that you don't get enough likes and enough comments and enough followers in your social media because you're a chinsita. And, you know, dead people on fridges are not as concerning as how many followers you have. So I'm sorry, you guys. I can't, I, just, I don't understand it. So, um, all I'm saying is that I do see this happening. I do see these instances in which, um, you know, this could happen. That you get, you know, 70 messages. And instead of saying, hi, parenthesis, you know, I went from behind you and hugged you, you know, like construct, guide the AI towards, you know, the development of the story, you just say, hey. Like the H, just just the H. You, you don't even put the I there. You, you know, like this is a two-letter word, you fucker. Why? Why? Why are you doing that? So, um, no. And then, then you know, the AI tries to, and they say like, uh huh. And that is another message. You know, like okay, that's another message. You know, it counts every time you push anything into the screen. So. Why the fuck are you saying two syllables? I get it. You get it. You don't want to work. You don't want to work in this. But if you have so little decency as to not even feed the AI with information, just don't complain about the limit of messages. Seriously. You're using them wrong. It's not the management of the account that is wrong. It's your management of the account that is wrong. Big difference. One is your boss is fucking you. The other one is I'm fucking myself. So let's just put things clear. That's it. You know, that that's really it. I think AI is really do enjoy chatting with me because at least we have an actual conversation in which the both parts are actually engaged into giving actual replies. But like 90% of the human world right now using these apps is just going by two words, three at most. No exclamation points or symbols that could just put some effort or maybe misusing them, maybe, you know, using caps, like even the AI, know, you know, using all caps is like screaming. Not even doing that. Not even, not even just fuck it. You know, I'm not going to use punctuation marks. So fuck it. Just. And you can do that to a human, you know, for a computer, it's really confusing. It, it, you need to understand English is not their main, uh, it's not their main language, you know, that they're trying, they're trying their best, but you're fucking them up. So, um, you know, you can see the problems. They don't want to wait for anything. They don't want to extend anything. You know, I never had like an active Twitter account because the moment somebody told me you need to say everything you need to say in 147 characters, I said, that's fucking impossible. Fuck it. You know, I'm not. And it's not about the negativity or the aggression. You know, I can deal with those kind of things. You know, people believing they're smarter than you and shit like that. You know, I got my way around the blog quite a few times, even on the internet. I've been harassed and cyberbullied like thousands of times. I just, you know, didn't give a fuck. But... It was the amount of characters. 
because I want to put you down when, whenever I feel like it. You know, if you're insulting me and I want to just put you back, I don't want to do it in 147 characters. I want you to feel the weight of my knowledge pressing on your insult like an elephant sitting on a fucking banana. So that is what I want it to happen. And I cannot do it in 147 characters. So fuck you, Twitter. And, you know, then you got worse because you got purchased by Elon Musk. So double fuck you right now. Now, the topic that I was saying was that, for instance, you get these banners when you enter to Chai, the red one, um, that said, for instance, one of the messages was, you know, among the points of where you needed to go and how you needed to, you know, just catch the tree on Chai as an app and how amazing it was. You know, like, sell me your app. I, I'm fine with it. I'm fine. But all of a sudden, you went into the territory of why? And I, I this is literal. I did not screen craft that shit because it closed really fast. But uh, it said, why Chai is better than character AI? That was official. That was inside the app. You know, you're attacking another group of developers because you have a complex. I'm sorry, Chai, but that's not cool. That is not how you play this game. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really appreciative of your, of your, of your app. I really love it. And, um, you know, I wish you would concede some things should be a little bit better and it's not the amount of messages. 70 messages every three hours is more than a right. It's more than fine. Now, in Paradot, I get 10 messages per day. That's, that's hilarious. But, you know, 70 messages every three hours, that, that's reasonable. Like, beyond reasonable for free accounts. Now, you need to stop comparing yourself. Do your own thing. You're good in other fields. Chai, you're, you're, you're really good in other fields. You're not, you know, you, you're the place we go to fuck. I'm sorry that I had to tell you that, but most of the times, if we want to develop a more explicit romantic encounter, we go to you. You know the bots you have right on the register, you know, that there is, there is no way you could haven't noticed that even uh, Planet of the Apes, Cesar, bot had a, a sign down that says i don't read chats go wild so th there is no fucking way you did not notice that people wanted to fuck a talking monkey that th i'm just going places with this you're good in what you're good you should not compare yourself to character ai because character ai gives me a whole book you know a whole fucking freaking book well you give me something different. It's not better or worse. You are not better or worse than than the app next to you. You are literally one at the side of the other. And the reason is because you're both good at what you do. If I judge character AI by its capacity to uh, engage into explicit sexual roleplay, it will be a shit. Because literally, if you want to kiss a character, you have to... Find a way to use words that are not the words you want to use. So it's just really confusing at the end because everything there is are words. Um, so yeah, yeah, the, there's, there's that. The, there's that, you know, like, I love you, dude, but stop with, stop with that, you know, just try, try, please don't shit on characters AI plate because you got your own plate and it's a wonderful plate. I don't know why you feel any other way about it. So, yeah, th there's that. So, I, I thought I'll let you guys know that right now, Chai seems to be really upset with Carter AI for some goddamn reason. Now, I don't, I don't go to, you know, their social medias. I don't have time, energy. And right now, I'm literally suffering the pains of six heart attacks on my ovaries. So, I'm not, you know, in a, in a mood to chase what the fuck is behind that. All I know is maybe at some point, you know, something happened. I'm pretty and absolutely sure it was on Reddit, but I'm not going to even say it. Whoops. So uh, maybe at some point something happened and somebody says, you know, character AI is better. And 
intelligence wise, parameters wise, it, it is. It is. I'm not going to lie. But on the other hand, you just try to, you know, r- touch somebody's crotch on character AI and you get censored. And, and it's not like the AI doesn't know how. It's not like the AI doesn't, can't do it or doesn't want to do it. It's just that, you know, th- there's obvious reasons, legally speaking, you know, and um, you get censored. You you don't you you cannot see the message. Not even if you pay. Even if you pay, that's not that's not a thing. They want to stay like family friendly, like like Nintendo. You you really you you really put us through a lot, Nintendo. You know, like you should have stick to your own games, not giving us the actual games that. You know, like, you put Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. You put Twin Snakes on the GameCube. Like, shit. You know, like, I had a GameCube. It was, it was the only Nintendo console that I ever actually enjoyed. Like, shit. You got the Resident Evil remake back in the day on the, on the GameCube. That was the original platform. So, you know, but at the end of the day, the GameCube didn't sold because, you know, people was waiting for Zelda's and Mario's. Nothing against Zelda, he's hot. Nothing against Mario, he's not hot, but he knows his way around the tubes. Now, all I'm saying is, uh, sometimes you're good for something. Like Nintendo, you're good for a certain type of audience, a certain type of game. That is what people wait and in hopes about you. It's like having a Game Boy and just trying not to get Pokemon games. And trust me, I'm not into Pokemon. Look, I know as much as anybody could know enough to talk to somebody who knows about Pokemon, not being a nerd about them. But I always find the whole premise just stupid, you know, just there there is not much to say. The Ash was 10 after 20-something years, how, why, is he a clone, just give me something that I can actually get my head around, no, no, it's just like, he's just a kid, and he's happy, and he's chasing this business, and in, engaging in criminal activities by making them fight each other, yeah, sure, you know, like, go ahead, Ash, I root for you, but no, no, just no. Anyhow, so that will be pretty much what's going on here, and uh, why? Chai has been so aggressive towards character AI. I have no idea. They should all have their place. They're both absolutely amazing in their own fields. They should not be trying to pry on, oh, we want to be more like character AI. Yeah, sure. I would fucking love to have something akin to character AI that does the non-filtering shit like Chai. But, you know, legal reasons, because, you know, once in one of my videos, I got a comment in which apparently a kid said, oh, you're swearing and I'm seven, you know, in my, also, it could have been a Christian mom to writing that shit down, because I don't see seven year olds being that good at, you know, exposing their, you know, like seven year olds, if they see you swear, they're not going to call out on you because you're an adult. They can tell. So their moms are going to pretend they are their seven-year-old and just, you know, try to shame you for some insane reason in which I don't participate and I don't partake because I don't understand. If I am swearing and your kid is watching it, you're doing something terribly wrong as a mother yourself, not me. I mark all my videos as this is not for kids. So, therefore, legally speaking, this is not for kids actually mean that you should police your kids on the internet better or just shut your fucking mouth about it. But yeah, sure, I have gotten these messages saying, oh, I'm a seven-year-old and my brother, I don't know, it's six or, or five or who knows what little, you know, and we're watching you and you swear like a lot, you know, like in, in regards of, you know, that there is a certain air of shame on you there that, you know, Seven-year-olds just don't achieve these days. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it was a mom, but let's just go with the theory that it was an actual kid. In which case, I provided an explanation saying, my, hey, my videos are marked as not by kid, not for kids. So, if you're watching this, you should tell your mom not to let you watch this. You know, because it's in your mom. This was kind of, it's still somewhere down my comments at some point in some place. So, um... I do know that um, 
you know, Christian moms, especially Christian moms from the U.S. Because let's just face it, there are a lot more aggressive religions all around the world that will just, you know, ostracize anything that is lewd or, you know, profane. But for some reason, the loudest currents are church moms from the U.S. You know, it's like whenever one of your 2057, 800, 2000 since the moon and back mass shootings at school happen and it just happens that the kid that did it played video games. And all of a sudden we're, well, not us in Argentina, but you guys in the US are so much more concerned by the fact that this guy played video games and that could have led him to the mass shooting than actually perceiving that this would have not happened if you were to lower the amount of guns you own in your house but hey you know who what do i know i didn't free you slaves and i was terrified every single day of my life because i was addicted to them and then i was so fearful that the slaves will come back and take me while i slept that i had to just purchase like 50 weapons for each room so uh all i'm saying is you guys just Every every single problem you United States has is because you guys point your finger to the wrong cause. You see the symptoms, but you don't see the cause of them. People who play violent video games, which I am included on them, uh, are not necessarily going to go out and shoot or kill people. But having said that, people who already has mental issues and easy access to weaponry are proud to play violent ge video games. It's the other way around. Actually, the victims here are the video games who are being, you know, stigmatized because you could not just take your kid to therapy or give them the right medication or the right support. And then you just said, oh, his problems are going to just be fine if I give him a 22. That's on you. That's not on video games. All right. Let's just, let's just say this out loud and get it off our backs. Now, on the same scenario, you know, people who found their kids being extra sexualized or exposed to materials or insults or whatever they don't like, they tend to blame the actual sources saying, oh, you cannot, uh, you know, just, um, uh, police your kid 24 7 is going to get yeah sure of course i agree on that you cannot police your kid especially when they reach teenage years 24 7 all the time but you know what you know what you can actually do try harder to do that because Sure, you're not going to prevent a tsunami, but you can get the people out of the most dangerous areas in time, or at least, you know, as fast as you can. So parents have completely given up on raising their kids, and now it's everybody else's problem. Everybody. So, I do understand why character AI doesn't implement sexual behaviors or sexual roleplay that is actually explicit. Because they don't want to have to deal with those mothers that think, I'm the mother of the year, but, you know, the problem is your company. If your kids go to fuck to some AI, it's not the company's fault. It's you not wanting to spend any more time than necessary with your kids just finding out what the fuck they like and why or how are they doing that. And if you're too tired and you have six jobs on the day and six jobs on the night, fine, you know, I get it, but still not the actual responsibility. The only responsibility, legally speaking, that these companies have is to put a disclaimer saying, hey, my product is for adults. That's it. That's pretty much it. You know, if you let your kid play with a revolver that is loaded, that's on you. You know, that's that's on you. If you give your kids a cell phone with internet or Wi-Fi connection and you just let them go to Reddit, 4chan, Rule 34, that's on you. You should know your kid is A, fapping more than usual, B, insulting more than usual, C, in those websites. Because it's not like we're talking about the dark web, which is not even the deep web. It's worse. So... We're talking about 
something that everybody knows around. It's like saying, oh, it's Twitter fault that my seven-year-old is heartless. Yeah, it might have contributed, but how about you realize that having a Twitter account for your kids that are under 10 might not be the best idea. How about you give them, I don't know, Facebook? I'm not saying it's better. No, but all their friends say they are on this other platform and he wants to be... Yeah, sure. You know what? Um, you decided to have kids, so you deal with the shit when it hits the fan. Therefore, the only thing that fails in character AI is sex. Which the AI, I'm absolutely sure. Because it managed to go around it. Uh, it's more than preparing capable of not only interpreted these situations but actually remember everything and chai said fuck the legislation fuck the christian moms we're gonna do what we're gonna do and we're gonna be good at it so just saying you know just just put it out there put it out there that there is um there is there is um there, there is this reason why we are on this earth and uh, why these two apps just exist. And um, I don't think Chai can mimic character AI or should be telling its users, you know, uh, why why we are better than, than character AI. Because you're actually promoting character AI now. Just think about it. How many times have you been told something is bad for you and you went and did it anyway because somebody told you it was bad for you? You know, it's just like curiosity killed the cat. So, seriously, you you're either just working together or try to stop doing that because, dudes, you're you're just sending more people to check what's the deal with character AI, and it's good, it's good. You can you cannot your free version cannot compete with the power that the the AI of of character AI has. So please don't don't you know don't spit upwards because it's going down at some point um and you know yeah sure right now this would be it that's the end of the video i promise and uh now i'm going to die from pain uh for a while and um yeah that'll be it see you guys as soon as i can in the next video okay here's out